Welcome to Smoko with AFI. I'm here with Mark Brock. Mark's from Ontario in Canada. So yes. Mark, what's uh, dragged you out of the depths of a Canadian winter <laughs> to our sunny shores? Uh, it's sun actually, but yeah. uh, no, uh, I'm studying uh, my Nuffield. Uh, so I'm a 2019 Canadian Nuffield scholar and I'm uh, in Australia to do some research around my topic, which is farmer to farmer collaborations. What okay. we're struggling with is mid mid-sized farms are just having a bit of a hard time finding access to capital or employment or just some of the uh, professional services that we need. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm looking at ways that we can work together better yeah. and maybe attract an agronomist to work for five farmers or yeah. uh, two farmers might pool together and buy a combine and work together at harvesting the acres for uh, their crops. So uh, there's some pretty good examples in Australia around that uh, and thought it would just be really great to meet those people and see uh, how they overcome some of the barriers to start some of these joint ventures or collaborations. Good stuff. And yeah. so uh, you've been here for a day. We've been catching up about various things. It seems like there's quite a lot of similarity in issues uh, yes. between what we're dealing with in agriculture here in Australia and uh, what, what you're dealing with in Canada. One of the things we've talked about quite a bit is the social license yes. aspect, access to chemicals, that sort of thing. Do you want to Let's talk about what's happening over there around that. Yes, uh, just it seems that there's a lot more interest in people's concept of food and where food comes from. Uh, being in Ontario, we have access to consumers. Toronto, which is our major city center in Ontario mm. and in Canada, we're two two hours away. So uh, we have a direct connection to the consumer, and they're just asking more about what we're doing and asking about our farming practices because. I don't know. There's a kind of a love affair with food, and sure. uh, and they want to love food. Yeah, and they want to learn more about it. So, uh, it just uh, you know, it's important to kind of talk about those aspects of our farming practices, and you know, people talk about social license, but really we're asking consumers to be okay with how we do things. For them to trust us, consumer trust. Yeah. We've been excited to have you here. Everyone in the office has been having a look at your uh, YouTube channels and your yes. podcasts. You're an influencer, as they say these <laughs> days, in, in agriculture. Yes. Uh, do you want to, to tell us a little bit about your channels and how they've come about? Uh, so, yes, my wife started into YouTube. Uh, she has a channel, uh, Sheepishly Me, uh, and her it was her way of just letting people come in and look at our farm. We kind of call it digital tourism okay. so that they're not physically at the farm but uh, she does enough videos and stuff that uh, they actually start to follow along and almost are invested in our farm and she's really created some uh, empathy amongst the people that watch and mm. she's very good on the sheep side but she doesn't understand the grain side because that's my part of the business so um, seeing how successful she was with that I thought it was important to do the grain side of our business as well and then kind of out of all that we decided to just do even more and started a podcast as well to okay. try to just share some of the business aspects and you know break down some stigmas around ways we farm and the business aspects of things and try to look at things differently so that was kind of the impetus around our unpopular farmer podcast that we started well anyway you're uh, providing enjoyment for all of us and giving us <laughs> an insight into Canadian Ag and, and uh, through your channels, which uh, I absolutely encourage everyone to have a look at. Uh, so it's Sheepishly Me, yep. and your YouTube channel is... It's just Mark Brock. Mark Brock, and then the Unpopular Farmer, Farmer Fuck. Podcast. Um, enjoy the rest of the time in Australia, so here for a month, and then New yep. Zealand as for well. Month, yeah. yeah, excellent. So enjoy the sun, and um, it's been great talking with you. Yeah, and thanks for the hospitality. It's been awesome. No worries. Thanks.